uh, hello, hello and welcome to the first ever edition of Minecraft Let's Play with me, your host, Thunderbolt. So we're just gonna go and create a new world. Uh, this is really, this is one of the most important parts because this is a brand new, brand new world. And it's gonna be with us through throughout the, uh, most of the series, if not all of the series that I will be releasing on this channel. So, we're gonna have to come up with a name that is creative and catchy. Peter Dinklage. Alright, so our new world has been created, and as you see, we have spawned in this biome where we have this really uh, so I guess this is gonna be where we're gonna call our new home this is my sheep hole there are many like it but this one is mine uh, this one here is Humphrey Bogart and this one is R.L. Stein uh, they're gonna be getting really closely acquainted in this hole if you know what I mean <laughs> watch this watch this I'm about to get an achievement Achievement. Oh. Look, look, it's a pond full of squids. This is one of nature's beauties, ladies and gentlemen. Just breathe it all in. Now, right here is is a, is a very treacherous, very treacherous cliffs that you'll find uh, rendered real throughout the entire world of Minecraft, uh, especially in Painter Dinklage. Uh, right here, it appears is the only way that we can go. Uh, you should only attempt this if you're very if you're very faithful in your abilities to to. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's see that in an instant replay. I really wish I had some friends to play with me, but it's too bad that my friends are all gay and live in other countries. It's all right. It's all right. It's just the first death. It's okay. We can recover. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's okay. I'm a Minecraft expert. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You see, it's fine. It's okay. I figured my way back to all of where my things were, and I got my entire inventory back. See, this is this is just a minor setback in a in a chain of the larger setbacks, which I'm sure will be would be coming up in later episodes. But keep watching, keep watching the video, cause it's not over yet. So here's, so here's a quick tip for you guys. Thunder's quick tips. Uh, if you ever want to know what the one su supply you should uh, get most of before you go out on adventures and spelunking, it is this block right here, coal. It is a, it is a black, uh, coal colored, uh, coal colored block. And when you when you mine it, you get this little this little uh, lump of coal that you see here in my hands. This uh, coal can be used for uh, sources of energy, and you can uh, you can smelt with it. And it is it is very valuable. It's a very valuable asset that you will that you will need in your in your in your in your inventory. Yeah. So this has been this has been uh, quick quick tips uh, with Wonderful. S speaking of adventuring, I've decided that the the orange wood biome is just not worth not worth my time and effort in trying to trying to live here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go find a different biome. Crap! This is the ocean. So these here are your average are your average everyday pigs that you'll find in the wild. Uh, they're good, good source of food, unless you are, unless you are Jewish or Muslim. Buddhists, uh, Buddhists can't eat, can't eat, they can't eat cows.
if you ever see real animals anywhere outside in the wild, be sure to kill them and use their skin as clothing. You know, it seems that it seems that a lot of times I find myself thinking a lot about the zombie apocalypse. Like just the other day, I was buying a kitchen knife and all that was in my mind was how am I going to jam this into someone's eye? My axe broke while I was talking about zombies. Is that ironic or is it just me it's stupid? I think it's both. What's in your head? In your head. Zombie, zombie. Zombie, eh, eh, what's in your head? Speak of the devil. It's a zombie. Oh yeah, that's right, it was Halloween very recently. <sighs> Should've done a Halloween vehicle. Vid, 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 Joe. Okay, here's another quick tip for you guys. Thunder's quick tip. <laughs> if you're cooking, if you're cooking food in the furnace, then you're... Then you're generating then you're generating light in in the nighttime so you don't need to go and make make a bunch of torches and waste your valuable resources like coal and sticks and so so this is what you so this is so, so that's that's a quick tip Wonders quick tips <laughs> is it against any religion to cook and eat raw mutton is it against any religion to cook mutton is it, any, is, it, is it against any religion to cook and eat mutton? Okay, so we've made it to the dawn now, and we're in the desert biome. So this is gonna be this is gonna be quite the journey that we have here today. Never know when you need anything green. Green is always good for you. Remember that. That's a, a, a quick tip. Butters, quick tips. <laughs> You know, I was hard pressed to think of an iron song to sing while I was mining this iron, and then I realized that there's Iron Man by Black Sabbath. <sighs> but I don't want to sing that. Well, well, it's just like I always say: uh, two iron is better than poo iron. <laughs> <laughs> well, it appears that I have stumbled upon a whole connection of of mines that contain even more iron. Sugar cane. I like sugar cane. I once went to a sugar or to a to a farm to a, to a place where they had spices and stuff in Sri Lanka, and they gave us they gave us some some good cinnamon that they grew there themselves. And also there were there were plants that if you rub them on your genitals, they prevent they help prevent erectile dysfunction. It's a true story. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised that they that they let us go home with some. I mean, not that I need any, am I right? <laughs> oh, it appears it appears that I've discovered civilization. This is probably why my computer is starting to lag so much. All right, so I think I'm gonna end off this episode here, guys. So I'll.